Hello everyone! Today I'm going to catch some squirrels with these squirrel traps because they've been tearing up my yard. They've been putting holes everywhere. Th this initiative is called Save the Squirrels Initiative. We're going to bait these traps with a little bit of squirrel feed, a bit of corn, sunflower seeds, and uh, peanut butter. Here's the main hovel they've been digging out. The idea behind putting the trap here is so that, you know, as they come in and out of their hole, they'll go through there see a little snack and chomp on it trap number two is placed right above their burrow trap number three is right along this path so hopefully they'll be walking along here and just go right in and for good measure we'll uh, entice them with a little extra you know a little bonus hey i ate that and i didn't die maybe i should go in there and and eat that It's the next day, so now we're gonna check all the squirrel traps. The bait is gone. There's a stink bug. That's kind of cool. At least we get some wildlife activity. Well, that kind of sucks. It looks like it's the same story. A little, uh, little plant there. Other than that, fuck all. And the bait tray is licked clean. God, that fucking sucks. I was so keen. I'm thinking it could be several different things. It could be that they're too big for the trap, so when they go in here, the trap doesn't fully close on them when they're eating the shit, so they're very easily able to just back out of it. After looking online, I found out that squirrels are very efficient at stealing bait from these traps. What I found as a solution online is to use these ramekins because they're fairly heavy. They're ceramic little bowls and you can kind of just smear peanut butter on the inside. It'll be difficult for the squirrel to just sit in there and eat all the peanut butter out of the dish, I'm thinking. So he may try to pull the dish out and the dish might be heavy enough to trigger the trap. Ooh. With this one, I've dug a small recess into the ground. So I'm gonna place the bait pan over that hole. They'll be sticking their gay little paws in there trying to get at it and that might force them to trigger it. Leave your comments below what trap you think is going to work, or if you have a better suggestion as to what will work. It looks like this trap was triggered, but there is nothing inside of it. But if you look at the bowl, for whatever reason, there's these little seeds, little black particles inside of it, because they kind of look like seeds. I'm not sure what they are. But all the peanut butter that I smeared in there is now gone. There's nothing in it. That must be what it is. They must be really fucking small. Like a tiny... Like a mouse? Alright, I need to come up with a new plan. Here is the new plan. We're going to catch something in this. With this one, I think I'm actually going to hang bait at the end of it. So, it almost guarantees a catch of something big. Ooh, a peanut! I'd like to walk up there and... Give it that peanut. Mmm. Yeah. Uh, fuck. I'm caught. <laughs> That's how it should go. Oh. Would you look at this? On the end of it, those are bite marks. So I think something came in, bit off the fishing line, and took the peanut, and got out, all without triggering the trap. I don't know how the fuck that happens. These are for catching mice. Uh, these are live catch mouse traps. I've never used these before, so I don't know if it's really gonna work. But the concept is pretty simple. The mouse smells the food, they enter here, they go inside, and now they're locked inside, so they can't go anywhere. We're gonna catch them in these, and then we're gonna go release them into the wild, where they're going to be killed by a larger predator. Holy shit, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's two in there. We're gonna take these guys to the local nature sanctuary and uh, let them loose. Three tiny mice, there actually might be four in there, I'm not sure, but it's a lot. We're all about saving animals here on the channel. We don't kill them, we're not about killing. We're gonna give these guys plenty of food. We're gonna spread the food around so there's a lot of food options. Now we're gonna let them go. Ooh, there's a lot, there's a lot of poop in there. Ooh, but there's also a lot of little little friendly rats in there. They are nasty, but they're alive and they're healthy and they're ready to go. Freedom. Freedom isn't free, but boy howdy are they fucking fast. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, bitch. Come on. Get a dog little. Wow, they hop. Look at them fucking jump. Look at all this residue that they left in here. They didn't fucking leave anything. 
Except residue. Poop residue. Oh shit. We have a fourth. A fourthy. Fourthy's trapped under this one. Freedom, go with your brothers. Four rats, one trap. That was crazy, four of them? Today we're gonna try something a little bit different. I've got a banana in hand, because I think we need to catch a monkey. We're not gonna get complicated with this one. I'm just going to, uh, well, I'm gonna eat this. New theory on deck, might be a rabbit. Now I don't think rabbits are traditionally that interested in bananas, but it's the only fruit and or vegetable I have in the house, so that's what we're gonna be using. Oh my lord. <laughs> Someone's a happy boy. He's super fat. I don't know what he's been eating. Look at those talons. Apparently squirrels eat bananas. Come on, my dude. Or, ooh, ooh, you're scaring me. Don't scare me like that. Life's gonna get better for you. Won't have to eat bananas anymore. You can have all the bananas you want out here. I'm sort of nervous as soon as I open up the the lift gate, he's just gonna latch onto me. All right, we're about to be free, my dude. I hope you're ready for freedom. Wow, look at that tail go. Uh, let's pretend he's not run toward the road. We're actually at a nature preserve. Yes. See, not too bad, right? Not too bad. He looked cool going across that field. I like, I like squirrels. Oh, oh there's a crow, He's, the crow's gonna eat him. The crow's gonna eat him. <laughs> All right, everyone, that concludes the trek for the mighty squirrel. Um, this one was the biggest one we've ever, we've ever seen. And, but stay tuned, because maybe we'll see more squirrels on the next episode.